So, so far we've looked at the require function in require.js and we've learned that the require function is used to load our main application logic. And we also learned that we can add some dependencies before loading that logic. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce to you the define function. So the define function is used when you want to declare a module in your application that other parts of your application will depend on. Um, so it is used for facilitating the definition of a module. So think of require as just loading and doing stuff, loading your main application logic and define used for declaring a module. In both require and define, you can add dependencies to be loaded before the rest of your code is executed. But it's important there to distinguish the differences between uh, require and define. If we do go back to the docs, requirejs.org slash docs slash start, and we go to API. Now the documentation is quite heavy here, um, but there are a few bits that really you should take the time to, uh, to read. So one of them is defining a module. So you can see there's a few paragraphs here and examples of module definition. The most common module definition that you'll see is this example here, where we are loading dependencies before our module code is executed. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Um, but just notice that you can use define um, even if your code does not have any, any dependencies. That's defining a module and a bit further up, there's also, you know, information on require as well. So you can see here for the main, your main app logic. So definitely check that, check out this uh, documentation if you are at all confused by these, uh, by these concepts. So let's go through an example. So I'm going to remove the code um, in here and instead of actually requiring these dependencies and loading that script, I'm actually just going to require a, an external file. So we're going to have a separate file which is going to contain our application logic. This require here is just going to be like our entry point to the application. So main.js will be loaded first and then we're going to call this new file. So we use require for loading. Um, so we're going to load another file as an example. So I'm going to create a folder called app and a folder app.js. So this is where we're kind of first touching upon more modular programming. So in main.js, we're just going to require that new file. So the current directory and look in the folder app and then app.js. And this is going to be a module that we are going to create. It's going to be a module containing some code. And you can imagine that as we build out uh, additional modules, you know, we can require multiple files and kind of compile them all together. So here we're going to use the define function. As mentioned, this is for defining a module. And we're going to want to load some dependencies and then execute a function. And the dependencies that app.js we're going to include here are going to be jQuery and Bootstrap again. So say we've got some content in here um, and we need to load Bootstrap and jQuery into, our, um, into this module. And then I'm going to use the function parameters here, so the dollar sign. And we don't have to, but I'm just going to add B for Bootstrap. And then we can now use jQuery and Bootstrap in this function. So let's get once again, select the body. And we want to change the HTML to hello jQuery as we did previously. And I'm just going to add the console logs for our jQuery version. And we also had a second one in here for our bootstrap version, just to make sure they have all loaded as expected and correctly. So constructor dot version and save. 
Okay, so what is now happening in this application? So we are starting an in index.html, we're loading require.js, and then main is the entry point for our application. Um, in main.js, we're loading our require config, and then we're loading our first module, which is app.js. Um, app.js is using the define function because it is a module, and we're setting some dependencies um, before executing this module. Hopefully that's clear. Let's see if you've made any mistakes. Nope, looks good. So there we go, we've got still got hello jQuery and then our versions loaded. Um, notice the difference here. We have now defined that logic in an external module. Okay, in our next lesson, we're gonna be talking about a synchronous module definition, um, which is AMD. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a method in a separate JavaScript file, and then using require.js, we're gonna be using that in a different module. So we're just gonna kind of expand slightly our, our knowledge of modular programming using require.js.